In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the transform tool and adjustment layers in Photoshop to put any set of wheels on any car you choose. Let's go. I remember the first time I really fell in love with digitally editing my car photos. I had gotten my first car, I was 16 or 17 years old, and I just wanted to simply see what the car would look like with new wheels on it. Putting new wheels on your car is one of the quickest ways to update the look, and doing this in Photoshop gives you the ability to see what different styles and colors of wheels can look like very quickly so that you can get a feel for what you want to do with your project. So let's do that right now with this car. Let's get some new wheels on it. Step one in changing the wheels is to find a new set of wheels that you like that you want to see on your car. I absolutely love these gold wheels, so I'm going to go with this. So I want you to pay close attention to the photo that I just chose because the layout and the angle of the car in the photo are almost identical, just flipped of the photo that I'm using uh, to, to Photoshop right now. So it's going to make it very, very easy for me to take these wheels from this car and put it onto my car. And the first thing I'm going to do once I get this new image of the wheels that I want in Photoshop is I'm going to take this photo and I'm going to flip it. So you just go up to edit, transform, flip horizontally, and this will flip the image to the way that we need it. Now I'm going to go up and take my elliptical marquee tool and I'm simply going to draw a selection around the wheels that I want to put on the car. Once I do that, I'm going to copy and paste, control C, control V, or go up to edit and copy, edit and paste, whichever way you choose, get those onto their own layer. So now that we've got these wheels on their own layers, all I'm going to do is I'm going to transform these wheels so that they match up with the wheel and the tire that's already on the car. The short key to transform is going to be control or command T. And once you see the anchor points come up, then you can go and move the wheel around wherever you want and we'll be able to skew the wheel to match up to where the existing wheel and tires are. Now, once you have the selection in the transform setting, you can control and then left click on any of these anchor points. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to scale these independently of each other. So I can move this around and get this wheel to fit where I want it to. I also drop the opacity on this layer so that I can see the wheel behind it and I can match it up with where the lugs are. I'm more, I'm more concerned with where the lugs are than anything else so that it looks like it actually fits on this car. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing to the back wheel. And now that we've got the wheels in the right position, you'll notice that the lighting is way off on these guys. The tires are not right. Everything is very, very blown out as far as the lighting goes. So this is where we're going to get into some adjustment layers. The first thing I want to do, though, is I want to erase the tire that came with the wheel. I did this on purpose. When I made my selection, I made it just slightly bigger so that I captured some of that rubber on the outside. That way I can take my eraser tool and on the layer, I can blend that back so that it blends into the rubber on the existing tire. This is a quick way to really kind of blend these back into the, into the image and make it look like it's part of the existing image. I'm going to go ahead and merge these two layers back together so that the wheels are on a single layer and I can do my adjustments to both wheels at the same time. The first adjustment layer I'm going to use here is going to be my levels adjustment. And you can get to your adjustment layers from the bottom of the layers palette. Once I open that up, it's going to pop up just above the layer that I was on. So the wheels layer, what I want to do is I want to again, clip that down to the layer below so that it masks it off to just that layer. And then I can use the sliders in the levels tool to change the light and dark levels on the wheels and get them to match more closely to what the overall composition of the photo is. And all you want to do here is play around with the sliders until the lighting looks like it matches the rest of the photo. Now, I also want to make sure that the colors are a little bit more spot on with where the rest of the photo is. So I'm going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer as well. That's also going to be clipped down so it's masking just onto the wheels. And then I'm going to go in and change the lightness and a little bit of the saturation on the wheels just to make it match more to what I want my eye to see, what I think my eye should be seeing. And just like that, we've now got a brand new set of wheels on this photo of our car and it took maybe five, 10 minutes. So if you wanted to do multiple sets of wheels, it's just that easy. And then you can really dial in the style of wheel that you want or even the color of the wheel that you want. 